finish my patrol, nothing to report. All right, level nine. Thanks, Mara. I know this feels like routine gardening to you, but Mon Mothma wouldn't have asked if it weren't important. The Jedi holocron is an important artifact. And it must not <laughs> that voice actor sounds familiar. We've got a full squadron for an escort. No one would be stupid enough. What the? We're, we're dropping out of hyperspace. New Republic transport. Interdictor. Yeah. You wings. Pirates. I wonder if it's anyone I know. And Pirates got the their hands one. on an interdictor, huh? <laughs> yeah, that is interesting. But um Yes, you know, like I was saying about some of the game assets, it's clear that they use the same assets from X Wing versus TIE Fighter, which came out the previous year to this game. Um and Jedi Knight, so it makes sense that they reuse those, like the Stormtrooper transport and the uh, even the interdictor and the T wings. They could just uh, plop them into the game. Um, yeah, something I was gonna say uh, when I was playing the uh, 1998 enhanced version of X Wing recently. Uh, what I didn't ever notice before, when they upgraded those textures, um, there was a Orabesh riding on the back of the Stormtrooper transport. Oh, really? Yeah, and uh, I think it just said... Locked. I can't remember if it was... It was just a couple letters. It was like maybe A and B or something like that. I gotta check again, but I actually screenshotted it. Just uh, and I'll, I'll show you later. It's pretty cool. Does it look nice and up. crisp with my 3D acceleration? And <clears throat> yeah. That's not good. I don't know what that does, but I pulled it too, and it's something. <laughs> it's uh, the, part the, of the plot. <laughs> uh, the NPCs need you to do it. Whoa. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, you know what's funny? When I watched the X Wing fly, fly out, I don't know if it was that one or the other one, I stood there by the hangar door when I was playing this level, and uh, <clears throat> the X Wing <throat> flew right into the ship and blew up. <laughs> Whoops. So it can still react to the background um, uh, textures on on in messed up ways that aren't aren't accurate. That used to happen a lot in Tie Fighter for some reason. The original Tie Fighter, the more than any other of the LucasArts flight sims, for some reason the the AI would always run into ships and blow up so like you could be dog fighting with a wings or whatever and if you went in between some containers there was a good chance that they would fly into it and die which made it more like a star wars movie really <laughs> it's just annoying when it like messes with your your objective your wing or your, or your, your wingman <laughs> yeah yes or the bonus thing dude that was something recently i was playing um about a year or two ago i was playing a mission on tie fighter and it was one i was having trouble on and the uh freighter one of the objectives the freighter was supposed to dock with a frigate or something and it wouldn't dock or no i know what it was it tried docking and blew up like when it <laughs> So it was like the the model got too close to the other model and it just blew up. So carbonite gun. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't use that yet. Whoa. I don't remember 
this uh, anti grav or not anti grav but zero g mm -hmm. section, but it's kind of interesting. Yeah, the way the controls work. Right, it's it's almost like the swim controls. A little bit. It's very it's very similar, but you can still press up to like go up and stuff. probably have to go up there oh yeah so <clears throat> I think I was gonna say something about Talon card I was right. the other day I was thinking about how um, you know one of the complaints or one of my complaints of the sequel trilogy and other new Star Wars media is not drawing enough from the old EU at least at least like how Marvel does with their comics right which they'll pull they'll pull stories and characters from the comics and then you know obviously yeah. not adhere to whatever canon is in the comics right <clears throat> but I was thinking how neat it would have been if uh, for example it's uh, what's his name DJ Benicio. Yeah. His character was like Talon Card, right? <laughs> like yeah, if it, it was not, just right? Talon Card. It didn't have to look like him, you know, because obviously it's a. I mean, you don't have to get <coughs> Timothy Zahn to dress up like <laughs> Talon Card, like the, beard on. like the CCG <laughs> card. But, um, or, or a stack pole like Corrin. Yeah. But it would have been cool for something like that, just like kind of throwing the old Eu. You know fans a bone yeah a little easter I think, egg i think at this point it seems like they are lucasfilm is interested in i guess using those kinds of things for the tv series obviously yeah, we have yeah. stoka we have thrawn name dropped who's <clears throat> obviously coming at some point and then um like uh thrawn and rebels which mm -hmm. i think was kind of a test run for a lot of things you know because then we they can see how the, the long time thrawn fans react as well as the new ones who have never heard of him or don't know anything yeah well and it's different too right like that's kind of they have to be careful because the um uh like marvel and comic books the canon is really loose like yeah the stuff is. the stuff happened but it's like it's it's all very loose and fluid and stuff can yeah. be retconned all the time and ignored and right and all that so it's really easy to let go of certain things where yeah in star wars perhaps they were uh before you go down there's that switch to the right of that switch yeah. Oh. Hit that oh. One. Okay. There you go. There you go. I th it just sets in motion more stuff. The heck. Yeah, this one is weird, and it'll go down a th to a third level, I think. Or that is the third level right there, I guess. Whoops. And then that'll call it back if you need it. And that's open. Maybe a quick save? I did. I did. Oh, good. Uh, didn't I take force projection? Oh, there it is. Shoot her. Oh. I guess those guys <laughs> are my decoy. You think this is the real Quaid? <laughs> yeah. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> it is uh, total recall. Um, you got the body, Victor. That's a, that's a whole nother tangent. I was, uh, how did I? 
run across Dan O'Bannon. Um, oh yeah, who wrote Aliens? Aliens Alien. and Total Recall. He wrote. I think he wrote the screenplay for Total yeah. Recall. Yeah, no, I I think it was just Alien and Alien or, Three. Yeah, yeah, it was Alien. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I ran across it because there was some scene from a movie, some Lovecraft movie, uh, The Resurrected, I think, which is mm -hmm. based on the Dexter Ward's story i don't remember that exact the case of charles dexter ward i think oh, which okay. i don't think i've i don't think i've read that one dang it dude those yeah. rocket launchers that's not are good so irritating and there's no way to get them off once yeah. it's on you you're fucked you should be able to force push them off or something i know assuming something. you took the power yeah it's just like good god dude and what kind of rocket sticks to you anyway? Sticky bomb. What what universe is this? It's a sticky bomb. Stick it up their ass bomb. <laughs> Stick it up your ass. Anyway, um, I saw saw that scene or something, and I looked it up, and then I saw that Dan O'Bannon, I think, directed it. Mm hmm. Interesting. And then I was oh, um, careful here. It's quick save for sure. I gotta reconnect this corridor. I was basically. Thinking... I can what? tell you what to do. Yeah, tell me what to do. Run, run across, and slash with your lightsaber the two pylons that are holding up the rest of the corridor, and then they'll fall to be lower, like the the first right. section. Right. What about the electricity? You might get shocked once or twice. I think three kill you, but if you go fast enough, you might only get one shock. <laughs> I've never done it without not getting shocked, but... And then if you fall on the side, you're kind of fucked, because then... Oh, but it's, it's got to touch you. Yeah, it has to touch you. All so right. yeah, you, you did all right. And then there's pirates in the next section, and... This guy's the scared. corridors. <laughs> don't okay. do death sticks kids yeah just say no <laughs> it's not a good corridor for the hologram <laughs> anyway, Dan O'Bannon. I was thinking how much of a bummer it was when he died. I would have liked him to be to have been involved in the uh Prometheus yeah. series of alien movies. Instead of Damon Lindelof. Uh yeah, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Who I, I I like Damon Lindelof. I've mentioned that before, just because I'm a lost nerd. But... Well, I feel like, he, um, you know, he's fine, but when he he was also involved in Westworld <clears throat> on the reboot, I guess. Yeah, I got Which a I whole didn't see, but I got a whole thing on Westworld. Um, I haven't seen the original or the reboot. Uh, I remember seeing the original when I was a kid a little bit. It was kind of, it was really creepy with, uh, I always, that was one of those movies. I always remember seeing the VHS tape like my whole life. Every time I would just browse at the video store, I always remember that cover with the, the cowboy's face slid off and seeing the Android underneath. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The old Brenner. It's funny. It's funny how that works. How in some cases I'm, I was familiar with the VHS cover for like 30 or 40 years, like of certain movies. And in a lot of cases like that, I've never seen the movie. Like I remember, oh yeah, you, you'll see an astromech around the corner somewhere here. Um, and then just go up to him and like hit space and he'll come back to that. Why area. am I, why am I completely brain farting on this? Where did I die before? Oh, the sticky bomb, right? I don't see a freaking yeah, Astro Mech. Oh, there he is. He's around. There he is, and he'll. I need you to open a door in cargo control. There he goes. 
He'll he'll go to that spot. And then as soon as that door opens, there's going to be a pirate. A pirate. Can you override the controls? Um What's his name? Linda Lorf. Linda Lindorf. The uh, writer. Lost writer. I didn't I didn't like uh Lindelof. Lindelof. Damon Lindelof. Right. I feel like he really Oh, oh, wait, wait. Sorry. When you go up these lifts, there is bombs as soon as you go up. I have never figured out how to avoid them other than to take minimal damage by like yeah. There you go. That's probably the best you can do. Now, there's that one, too. You know what? It's not worth it because that door is locked. Oh, there you go. You took it out. And then the other side is locked. But when you go in and around, you can shatter the window and get in another way. Okay. What a turd. But yeah, what were you, what were you saying about uh, Damon Lindelof? I don't... It's less to do with him, I think maybe and more to do with what the studio this changes the studio wanted to make i don't remember actually with prometheus what the what the main issue was was it ridley scott was it yeah because they i think they were Lindelof. i think damon lindelof came lindelof. in and co-scripted with a guy and then i don't know if that was after ridley had already written a treatment i'm not sure or if, or if damon wrote a treatment and then ridley changed it I, I don't remember yeah i don't remember either um i didn't like what they did with uh star trek 2 with Khan. Mm -hmm. yeah but that's that's oh. more to do i that might be more to do with jj than uh lindelof and damon yeah you know. um but yes i think it would have been nice if dan o'bannon was uh involved in prometheus since mm -hmm. uh, Oh, mm -hmm. that window back there. Um, if you can s jump up and slash it with your lightsaber. And then, of course, once you do, there's another couple of bombs like right near the window. But there's a bunch of shields and like, I think a back to thing in there. It's like a person. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's sort of like a tough one. I I uh, it took me. Oh shit! You got to do this. That's fine. It took me a little while to perfect that um, that jump on that section. But anyway, now we got more time to talk about to hate on Damon, Damon Lindelof. Lindelof. <laughs> um, I didn't like the con angle. Um, because they they specifically said it's not Khan, and then it was Khan. And right, right. I I feel like if if he had just been whatever his name, his alias was in the movie, yeah, like just yeah. a, or you know, my idea, what I thought would have been cool for Star Trek Two is instead of Khan, it was a a, a different like you know eugenics warlord or whatever right, from the right. eugenics war like a different one because they sent like tons of them into space like 24 yeah. right, or something. right. I, I, I don't remember, remember the line. exact yeah i don't remember the exact number but or or the details yeah too distinctly but i just remember that and i was i was like oh That's it would right. be cool if it was just like you know Another not con never knew of you know i i'm so con, glad con only yeah. mattered because of the history with that Kirk, he, with Kirk from the TV series. So if you right. don't have that, it does. There's no weight, right? right? The weight is in the audience knowing what who Khan was from the right original series. Where the hell is the asteroid? Well, welcome to Star Trek Unfiltered. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> or <laughs> Alien Unfiltered, <laughs> Westworld Unfiltered. <laughs> Oh yeah, so everything but Star Wars today. Skinwalker I, Ranch unfiltered. I will. <laughs> yeah, we talked about Talon Card a little bit. A little bit. We name dropped uh, Timothy Zahn, and the stupid <laughs> Astromech is. That's right. We we name dropped it for the the few fans that are pining for Star Wars conversation today. <laughs> oh, I probably have to. 
Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. The astromech part I have again. To, I have to do that, and then the astromech probably pops and he, out he'll, somewhere. He'll he'll manifest once you yeah click that thing. There he is. Oh, I get it. He comes out of that little yeah. astromech dispenser. Yeah, dispenser. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a Pez. It's a Pez dispenser for astromech. Anyway. Watch out for the pirate. Oh right. He comes out. And it's a hammerhead. Yeah, so I, I guess I'll just summarize my my problems with uh, Windeloff. Jeez Louise. Um, I didn't like the con angle with Star Trek Two. I didn't like the divergent the divergence from being a tight a tight. Um, oh, that's for later, right? Maybe. Maybe well, those things like, get you said, later. Like I said, um, wow, I don't know why they're activating down there, but um, uh, th there's only power ups in that office. Like, literally, I don't think it, it bears any. Because I got in there and there's only power ups. Is but, there like I said, health? The, the, yes, there is health in there. Like I said, though, the only way that I was aware is to d smash the front of it from the cargo area. Mm -hmm. But. Quick save before you do, because those, those it's oh yeah, no, I'm gonna... not even it's not even always the bombs that might kill you, but for some reason when I force jumped really high and landed, my health was so low it would kill me. Yeah, if you if your health is too low, then force jump is uh, a liability. Right. And then these things, uh, obviously, you want to stay as low as you can, because if if it gets too high on on those. <laughs> Um, dude. Oh man, I thought you quick save. The, that. No, I didn't, cause I I was like, <laughs> oh, surely this will be safe. This is the curse of uh, Linda Linda Law, Linda Lord. Oh, I see. That's how it is. Let's just place his name on the curse. Yeah. Poor guy. Oh, that's gonna hurt. There needs to be astromech dispensers. I don't know why that's not a thing. I mean, clearly... When you need one. I mean, or maybe that's... It's charging port is in that closet. <sighs> it's a utility closet. Well, it's like when the... The ship spits out the... The, um, the queen ship spits out the astromechs to yeah. fix it. Yeah. Anyway, um, so Star Trek II, Khan... Aliens or Prometheus being too divergent, which uh, actually turned out to be okay because I was kind of interested to see where it was going with with David and all that stuff. Yeah. And if it, there's a roundabout connection to Alien, like a strong, good connection mm -hmm. to Alien, then that would be great with David. Um. Whoops. Okay. Sometime before you go in the car. Yeah, yeah, area, yeah. I'll I'll quick, quick save. save. Um. You know, I think. I haven't been keeping up on it on news, but I've dabbled here and there. Um, there's been Prometheus comic book tie-ins that bridge things to like Covenant, and then there's been I think some post-Covenant uh, comic stuff. So there, there's I th and I think it's Dark Horse Comics that has the rights still to the comics, I think. But um... Watch They've this. Been still... wait, 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 watch this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did it shatter? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it did. That. Okay, now there's the bombs. Haha. Uh, oh, yeah. nice. Oh, shit. Now you gotta just get down <laughs> oh, from <shit>. there. <laughs> Die falling. That was the thing. I, I stayed on the, the cargo uh, thing a, a couple times, and it, it'll drift you up into space where you die. <laughs> um, yeah, By the way, I this saw... is the biggest Corellian Corvette of all time. Yeah, I know. It's clearly... stupid because it, look, it, it clearly is one when you see those little diagrams, but it is not. This is like the size of... Uh, I don't even know. It, it's It's... Four times the size of a Corellian Corvette. It's a special I, one. I've been it's a trying super, to reconcile super it. Corvette. Super Corvette. There's the Holocron. I've been trying to reconcile the size of this Corvette in my head all day as I play this level. 
Um, anyway, the, uh, yeah, there was, I, I think I read some, some news that or surge there's, I think there might be a Hulu series post oh, nice. Hulu series maybe or something. I don't know. You know, damn, now that I think about it, how come alien hasn't done a mini series or something like that? I think that would be the way to go because, you know, a couple years ago they had those, um, those shorts that were made by different kind of like fans that, you know, I think they were Kickstarter things. And then they were short films that actually were tied into the continuity of the alien universe. And I watched a couple of them and they were really good. The ones I saw and I, I meant to finish the rest, but check those out. They were done for the uh, 40th anniversary of alien in 2019. Mm -hmm. And uh, they had different titles for each one, but there was like, I think five or six and they were like 10 minutes each they were like really short but uh yeah cool stuff anyway star wars <laughs> no, i think there was something else that that uh was damon, off topic well no the damon i can't remember now it took <laughs> it, so many deaths and too much and then too much walking on your head from pirates. Oh, Westworld. Um, I thought Westworld was good, but I had a hard time caring about in the... Am I supposed to do that? Um, yeah. I had a hard time caring about the uh, androids. Mm. And I had a hard time believing those... There were some guys that were getting... Like, uh, oh, quick save, quick save. Uh, okay. For, I, I, it, it, this is nearly as, as far as I got. For some reason, it gets all bright in here, and I don't know if it's because it's going to kill you. But yeah, you're on the right track. And then you get in here, it's all zero G. I don't know. This is as far as I got because I was, I was running out of time and I just quit it here. But yeah. Can't imagine why you would quit in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, really, it was just time. Like I said, I thought I was near the end of this level, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, Westworld. I just I had a problem caring about the uh, androids because um, they were just androids, right? Right. I, I don't right. know. There was just something about it, like because for them, death wasn't permanent. They would just be yeah. uh, re regrown or whatever. Right. Um. And their memories wiped, but uh, so it wasn't. There wasn't any permanence to their death. It didn't seem mm -hmm. like. Maybe maybe it was different in season two, but I only watched season one. And then also there was like one android like woke up in outside Westworld or whatever, and was like, manipulating and telling these guys what to do. And I was like, just turn her off. Like, what are you doing? Just kill her. <laughs> right. Like you guys are retarded. This is. So annoying. You know what's funny? There, there's uh, those background noises that you can, you can kind of hear like a voice and then like these clanks. Mm -hmm. For some reason, when I was playing this, it reminded me so much of like a Prodigy song. It was like oh, the yeah. samples or like <laughs> it's like Firestarter oh or something. Oh my god, that's it's the like, funky what? shit. It's like the <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the <laughs> the credits are rolling on uh, Event Horizon. <laughs> Oh, that was a good movie. I need to see it again. I and that, saw it once. That has like a legendary director's cut that can't, like, they lost the footage or whatever. So you we'll know, never get it. It's funny. I saw it in like the late 2000s, but what's funny is I, I kept seeing the commercials and I think the trailer when it was coming out in 97. And I so wanted to see it. It was like, it, I went to a lot of movies that year. I went to like 30 or 40 movies in 97. It was like, I think. Going to I'd... movies? What is that? I don't, I don't even remember what that's <laughs> right. like. Of course, disregard the fact that 23 of them were Star Wars movies. <laughs> right. The, the, tr the trilogy. But. I'm definitely not going back in there. 
I did see probably 20 other movies that year and that and I saw some obscure ones. I saw Copland with Stallone in the oh, theater. Yeah. I saw like Mimic with uh, Mira Sorvino. Yeah. Um, I mean, there were, I was seeing every sci-fi and action movie there was. I saw The Fifth Element. Um, a lot of good stuff. But then Event Horizon passed me by for like 12 years before I finally oh, saw it's it. It's so good. It's Doom. It's like Doom the movie. It is. Should have been. You know, it reminded me of... 2001 mixed with Doom. Okay, seriously, you need to look up <laughs> what I'm supposed to do here because this is this is all right the most annoying obtuse thing. <laughs> okay, sliceable great, slice and enter. Don't bother fighting all the enemies here. Look for a grate on the upper inside corner of oh, the Oh, there it is. There it is. Sweet. See, with the reddish tint? Uh-huh. It's even it worse. It just blends in. That was annoying. Yikes. <sighs> It's Mega Man all of a sudden. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> Remember those parts? Uh, what do you mean? Was, the sound? On Mega Man? Yeah, on Mega Man, it's like you're jumping on these, you're platforming on these blocks that manifest. Oh, yeah. And you have yeah, to do it in yeah, the right yeah. pattern. Yep, those were annoying. Yep, those were really bad. <laughs> those are always the worst part of every Mega Man game, pretty much. Yeah, I know. I know, Mara. <laughs> okay, but, but there was a thing. What am I supposed to do about the robot? I don't yeah, know. it says, look for a construction robot guarding an open crate. Kill the robot and enter the crate. I see. This will end the level. Oh, dude, that's, that's like one of the... Uh, uh, it looks kind of like a robot from, um, I was thinking Shadows of the Empire or something. Um, uh, oh, very similar. All right, I guess I'll get in. Oh no! Get in. Failed. This is Mara. What? I ran out of time. Are you serious? Yeah. But you were just about to enter the crate, I or know. I thought you did. Oh, there the crate goes. Fuck. Oh, and I quick saved it, so I th I might have. Uh, oh no! I might have completely fucked myself. <laughs> oh no! I'm not sure this is a good idea, but it's the only way. Ah, and this this totally happened. <laughs> we, yeah, very we, interesting. We totally did not fail. No. The uh, level. Whoa. It's a little gunboat. Yeah. Z95 headhunter. There's some deep cuts. Yeah. Look how giant that Corvette was. That was just insane. <laughs> Super Corvette. It's cannon. <sighs> That's the thing. Whenever there's a, a significant discrepancy like that, my my brain automatically goes into reconciliation reconciliation mode yeah. where i'm tr i'm trying to as i as i enjoy the story i'm internally like trying to figure out how it can stay consistent with everything else <sighs> yeah well there you go level nine nice <laughs>